Nestled into the hilly woods of Salem, New Hampshire, America's Stonehenge represents one of America's great archaeological mysteries. Looking beyond the herd of alpacas being raised on site, the obvious attraction at the American Stonehenge is the 30 acres of stone walls, chambers, ceremonial altars, and tunnels. While originally known as Mystery Hill, the site's advanced stone construction techniques and perfect prehistoric astronomical alignment led to associations with the British Stonehenge and the eventual renaming of the site. One of the things that makes the site so interesting is the archaeological confusion surrounding it, and many theories abound as to its origins. Depending on who you listen to, the site was either built by an ancient Native American culture, a pre-Columbian group of Irish monks known as Chaldees, or the same seafaring Phoenicians who built the British Stonehenge. Carbon dating on some of the rock does go back 4,000 years, although whether human occupation goes back that far is up for debate. Another theory says the site simply reflects the work and structures common to the 18th and 19th century New England farmers local to the region. Lastly, the property came into the hands of William Goodwin in 1936. During his restoration efforts, alterations made mean we might never know how much the site and its astronomical alignment were original, and how many were shifted to suit Goodwin's purposes and ambitions as a proponent of the Chaldee theory. Whether mystical or not, I certainly enjoyed exploring the cave and tunnel known as the Oracle. And with its proximity to Boston and yeah. Manchester, New Hampshire, perhaps a visit to America's Stonehenge is a detour you want to consider making yourself.